All right, now we have to absolutely talk about this particular video. You may have seen it already, and I'm gonna to react to it even though I've seen it half a dozen times already. But this is a video that's gone viral on Twitter. We have this parent that's there on the left here. She's coming into a classroom and she's tearing down this ABC flag in this classroom of this teacher, who by the way, is the epitome of a woke activist teacher that has no business teaching anywhere in any school here in America. And so I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna talk about that aspect of it. But this particular video is so interesting because there's so many different things in here, symbolically and actual, that I need to point out. I have about eight or nine things I wanna talk about in this one minute and 22 second video. So I'm not gonna show it and then reshow it and go over it. I'm gonna go through it as it happens. So I encourage you to watch the actual clip first. I'll leave a link to that in the description and come back and actually watch this video because I'm gonna go through it piecemeal over the next, I don't know, eight or nine minutes. So here we go. So let's check a look at this video. I'm gonna skip over here to Twitter here. And so here we have the parent now on the right because I was flipped before. She's coming in and now the door's open. She comes in and you see the ABC flag on the wall. And the first area of symbolism is that it's actually covering the United States of America and that in and of itself is the most symbolic and actually ac accurate thing of what's happening now in our schools here in America, also in our media and everything else. They are covering up our republic with other things that are based in Marxism. It's not just the ABC flag, it's also BLM flag and other things that they throw in there that suit the model of Marxism. Here we go. So right now, I'll rob the bat. The mother comes in there, <laughs> I mean, both barrels, and she rips the flag down. We see the American map behind. It's obviously a history class, and now mom is not having it. She is a mother who cares about her kid, and we'll talk about that as well later on, about whose child is it? Is it the state's? or is it the parent's responsibility? And we'll see also how this teacher themselves, how she actually contradicts herself uh, on that particular point. By the way, right now, look at this teacher, look at her. She looks like Oscar Madison from The Odd Couple. This is the epitome of a person that I would think would be an activist woke teacher. What that person would look like would be this person to me. She's got a pantsuit on, she's got the, uh, the sloppy uh, shirt hanging out, she's got the leggings and she's, She's got the intimidating thing, the glasses, it's just everything about her, her demeanor, her attitude is all speaks activist, woke teacher. This person should not be teaching anywhere in this country. Not paying my tax Mom. money to support, get out of this type of now. You can like, why do you have? She said, my tax dollars don't go to support this, but in actuality, mom, they do. And they have been since the late fifties. Unfortunately though, now we're just seeing the fruits of this because they're being more bold and brazen of pushing forth their government run, not public school, government run education system on our kids to indoctrinate them to fit the mold and believe the narratives that they want us to believe. It's a non God led system we're dealing with. We've removed God from all of our public school systems and thereby it's being replaced by a secularized humanist horrible Marxist agenda, and now we're seeing the fruits of it, and now this mom has had enough. And by the way, this mom could very well be a Democrat, but at some point in time, you have to step up and step into the gap between what's going on with the state, the schools, and what's going on with your child. Ms. Hagen, and why do you have this hanging up? It's part, part, of, it's part of the students. No, it's not part of anything. The, the, so the teacher asks, I'm sorry, the parent asks, why is this flag hanging up? The teacher's response is, it's part of the students. No, it is not. In fact, the Supreme Court has upheld any type of activity that happens to be okay in schools as long as it is student-led. And this has been something that's been upheld multiple times. So as long as a student group decides to do something on their own without the intervention of teachers, they can do it. They want to do a prayer group in school, they can do it. Constitutionally, they can do it because it is student-led. When the teachers do it, then that becomes a problem. That no longer is constitutional. That has been upheld many, many, many times in the past. 
go look up ACLJ and their website there. I'll leave a link there as well. They have all the information on that as well. But here you have the situation where this teacher is imposing her will on these kids and indoctrinating them. That is totally not constitutional. That is uncalled mm. for. We are paying you to teach history. And that's what you need to be teaching. Excuse me, this is a public school, little lady. You are ex- <laughs> So what's interesting here, she says, she says, you need to be teaching history. And what's the teacher's response? Um, this is a public school. In other words, we don't do that here. We do other things, but we don't teach history here. So it's interesting how she her response was, oh, we don't do that. Get out. Is you are, do you see my, what's on this no, side? No, no, no. This needs black. to go exactly where it is, in the no. barn. You need to go in the no. garbage. I think she said proud and black, which by the way, I believe this mother is, she's not, I don't know if she's, who will know what she is, but obviously she's not white. And so it's funny how these liberal woke leftists always want to speak on behalf of people that they don't are, are part of. I have a video coming out about Clarence Thomas, about his involvement with white leftists and how they are many of the main ones who have always caused him problem, problems. It's never been the people who look like him. It was just the white elitist leftists. So this is a perfect example of that. She's giving her the Lyndon Baines Johnson treatment. You know, the whole stand over you, intimidate you to make you bend to my will. That is another symbolism thing that I see here as well. I'm teaching my son to grow up to be a man. Yeah. And I don't want you hanging on right. flag. I'm calling security. Oh, wow. Hanging on flag. Now she's going full Karen now by calling the calling security. Yeah, I'm calling security. you to sit up there and teach them the type of stuff I'm trying to keep them away from. I told you what would happen. Right. I told you. No. I told you somebody you here gonna get mad. You need to be teaching history. No, you need to be teaching history. Shut up. No, God. Right. I'm not okay, so she's already called security. She's not under any threat. So then she points at her and tells her to shut up and get out and then tells the student, I believe, to shut up. And of course, the mom didn't like that because now it's dealing with whose child is it? Is it the state's child or is it the child's, uh, it's the parent's child that uh, is the issue here? Because there is a debate here. You're you're not not like that. I'm not no, getting out of nowhere too. Hey, no, you don't tell my son no. to shut up. You're talking to me. Okay, so I'm gonna get to, so right now we're about to end the video here, but she tells the student to shut up, tells the mom to shut up. And it comes down to the question I was going to say that the debate really is, is whose children are they? Whose child is it? When you have a child, is it your responsibility to raise that child? Or is it the state or the government's responsibility to raise that child? That is a serious debate. We actually have a video of our movie review that we did called Whose Children Are They? It stars a guy named Bob Schaefer, has our friends Callie and Joshua Fontanella. They're in it as well. And it talks about that particular question. Whose children are they? If it's the state's child, then this teacher here is in the right. If the child is the responsibility of the parent, then the parent here is in the right. And that is the dichotomy here. That's the debate. But it's easily, easily quantified in the Constitution also in the Federalist Papers and the intentions of the writings of the Founding Fathers, that is absolutely the parent's responsibility to raise their child in the way that they want them to go. And ideally, it would be in a godly fashion. We remove God out of the classrooms, and so now it's being re replaced again by a Marxist agenda, which is humanist in nature. It doesn't have God involved. Everything is materialism by chance, and we wonder why our kids act the way they do when they have no hope in the world because there is no God to be accountable for or to look for to after they leave this earth. And so that is what is going on here. And lastly, this teacher here says this, watch this, where she absolutely contradicts herself in one statement. Your son ain't failing. My son ain't failing. He needs to be failing because you got a flag hanging on of you. Okay, so here, she said here, your son is failing. In other words, she's going to defer everything on the child as the kid's failing. Okay, well, if the child is failing and you believe, Miss Teacher, that the state is the one who's supposed to be in charge of that, then you're failing by teaching him and him still failing. Now, the, the kid could be failing. It could be his fault. could not be his fault, but that's not really the point. Now, she turns around and says, but the kid is failing because of you, Miss Parent. Hold on. I, I thought you just felt that the state is the one that's supposed to raise your child. So now she's going to turn it on his head and blame the parent for not teaching the kid 
but then getting angry at the parent for coming into the classroom for doing exactly what you just accused her of not doing. You see how that works? See how these twisted these people are in their thinking? And that's what I'm talking about here about this particular video. So there you have it. This video is absolutely incredible. What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below. I'd be curious to know what you think.